Good everyone, oh, welcome to this video. Today it's a combo request by Air, well, not Air Relics, the British Empire for the Horo and the D3A1 Val. Interesting combo here. We've got a Derpa, and we've got what you would typically use as a Derpa. <laughs> if you don't know what I mean by Derpa, it means basically you'd use it for ground attack. It, that's what I call it. Well, DTT mainly calls it that, I just took the name and all that. And obviously, a derp is the derp gun on the horror. And obviously, with it being our main star for today, this thing is... While I love it, but at the same time, I freaking hate it. It's... It's one of those vehicles where you've got to take into consideration your reload rate. And you you can just see that. 23.9 seconds. I'm going to do everything in my power to reduce that. But if you look, 20 second reload. If I put an expert crew on it, that's 22 seconds we're on the reload for. Now, I haven't driven the whole row in well, an awful long time since I grinded the skins for it and spaded it. Obviously, we are going to be using HE rounds today. We're not going to be using the APHE. I don't see anyone firing APHE in a mill or any more at this thing. Obviously, we have got a 7.7 on the roof to fend off aircraft if we have to. But to be honest, we're not going to be using it in that role. With it being a, quote, tank destroyer, this thing isn't really meant for taking down aircraft. It's, it's meant to just lob a massive HE round of 150mm caliber. And just blow the head off of any poor sop who gets in front of it. Now, obviously, with us having a derp gun, we do have to have some consequences, which we do. Armor. Thick, well, the thickest armor is 25 millimeters. We're not going to be stopping much with this anti tank, well, this in terms of anti tank rounds. We do have a bit of bonus structural steel around the gun area, but to be honest, that only adds like one or two millimeters, so it's not going to stop much. And we actually have open spots where the machine guns can go through and hit our commander, hit our gunner, etc. So we're going to have to watch that. Side 50 cows will just shred your crew who stand here. Rear, you're screwed if anyone gets to your rear. So obviously with us having this derp gun, we also have to have limited traverse. And we only have about, I think it's like 5 degrees if I remember rightly. And to be honest, if we're just going to x-ray, that should be able to tell us. Yeah, 5 degrees of horizontal guidance, that means left and right. We can only turn it 5 degrees left and right, which is not a lot. But we do get 10 degrees of gun depression and 20 degrees of gun elevation. Now, for whatever I want to find in terms of history of this vehicle, not an awful lot. It was completely outclassed because American artillery was obviously in more numbers. And eventually these horror rows were just blown to bits by US artillery. As for the Val, it was probably one of the most common Jap Japanese dive bombers during the Second World War. Very commonly used for dive bombing, kamikaze, and just general ground support. It was a very good aircraft for its time, but obviously once the war proceeded, it just became more and more outclassed. And obviously the Judy, the D4Y1, and the other models soon replace this aircraft. But anyway, less of the sop story about the aircraft and the tank, obviously, with us being completely outclassed by everything. Um, well, with it being outclassed. This is what you would technically call the outclass combo, because both of these vehicles were outclassed during the end of the war, but the Japanese kept using them. Obviously, the Hero was nowhere near as used. But the D3A1 was used up until 1944 to 45, and these things were using kamikaze missions. And well, we had well, they had Hellcats and Corsairs to deal with, as well as the excessive amount of anti-aircraft guns that the Americans put on their ships. So these poor valves didn't get very far. And obviously, with it having the pilot and a sometimes a tail gunner just to be there for extra bullet sponge. These aircraft didn't get very far, unfortunately. But anyway, I'll see you all in the battle. Well, you joined me in the second game. Unfortunately, was killed by a guy who I'm fairly pretty certain was cheating. He was in a SU-57 half-track. He knew exactly where I was both times I spawned to 
try and obviously get the D3 in the game and yeah, I, I'm, I'm honestly getting bored of it now and as far as I'm aware, Gaijin has not actually said if the easy anti cheat is on. I don't bloody know, personally I don't think it is. Anyway, less of that crap. Let's get involved. I did get to use my usual hello there whenever I see a tank and I get to blow its head off. What the fuck? Really? Okay, that, that was random. <laughs> I just got completely stopped by a bush. Well, a fern, I think you would call that. Gaijin logic. Completely stopped in a what, 15 ton artillery piece by a little fern. Because, well, Gaijin can't model correctly. And this guy's going to pit maneuver me at this rate. Let's hope we actually get a useful team that knows how to watch my back this time. Because, well, if my team would have been watching my back, I wouldn't have been killed by the SC 57. I remember when the Japanese tanks first came out, people moaned about the Chiha chassis, which is what this is based on. And to be honest, I don't have that big of a deal about it. The Chiha chassis just feels nice to play. Oh, right there, right there, right there. That's the ticket. First kill. Let's reverse because obviously we've got a 20 odd second reload. Someone just shot us. You can tell that's a tryhard just looking at that thing. What even is that? I don't know. It looks like a T70. But you can tell he's tryharding. Right, well we're in a bit of a bad spot here, because if we pull out, we're obviously going to get shot by him. But at the same time, I don't know if there's anything to my right. Hmm. Alright. Come on. Turn. Gee, our Kai just took out a Hawaii. Yeah, because the Chinese captured a number of Chihars and all that. I think it was the Nationalists that ended up with Chihars and the... I, I, I don't know the whole Chinese thing, but I know one side ended up with Stuarts, one side ended up with Chihars and stuff like that. Right, someone's on A. Oh, you're, you've just died, so I want to... Park it up around about here. Why are these Tetrarchs driving away from the capture zone? See, look. What are you doing? There's a guy right there. Fucking hell, fire. I've got the dirt gun lined up on him, so if he pulls out, he's getting his head blown to pieces. Just going to back up here and just get in a better position to shoot and all that. What is this team doing? This team just collapsing and that Chiha pulled out when I wasn't looking. Fuck's sake. You see, now I don't know if there's anyone who's friendly coming to my left. Good night. Is that enough for the D4 no, or D3? No, it is not. And there's the tryhard. I really want to blow his socks off, but unfortunately... I am mid-reload, so I can't. Right, we're reloaded, but... Like I said, the real detriment to this tank's performance is its reload. 
I get that it's balanced by its reload and all that, but I just think 22 seconds when it's got crap armor is just a bit excessive. Right, so that triad's probably camping behind that rock, and obviously we can't really go anywhere. Right, he just died. Let's have a look at him. Zloy Mambit. Yeah, he is triading. Stuart, what the fuck are you shooting at? Well, we might as well see if we can move up. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. AB41. Who just backed up the little shit. I could lob around down there. I can hear something to my right. And I'm having very bad stuttering, I've noticed. And it's not my computer. It's, my computer's been fine the last few days. What's around this bloody corner? Oh, hello, 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 hello. Hello. <laughs> that you do have to. Oh god, no! <laughs> I was dead anyway. There's a AB41 that came to my right. <laughs> Jesus, that was a violent end. Right, well, if we're quick enough, we can get in the Val and turn this around, hopefully. Not by a lot, because the Val doesn't pack much in terms of bomb load. It carries 260 kilo bombs and a single 250. And you had to bring in Fury, didn't you? But I find it funny, whenever I join the Allies side with any sort of nation, I get crushed. And yet when I join the Axis side, I get crushed. Ugh. I've got a swordfish up there. M3A3 is just ripping our team to bits, like seriously. And the Fury's not exactly helping, so it looks like I'm going to have to go find a mode in my Val. And that, to me, looks like the dreaded BB-1. Let's put our aerobics down so we don't overshoot as badly. Yes, it is a BB-1. Fun. So let's keep the aerobics down so we can slot him behind him. I'm going to go for his gunner first. Of course, he knows exactly where I am the moment I pull in on his tail. Oh, my aim's rusty with his 7.7s. Like I said, I need to kill him first before I go in for ground attack. You're, you're trying to outmaneuver a D3. That's the ticket, that's him dealt with. Oh my god, can we stop with the trash teams? Like, seriously? Well, there's nothing much I can do now. This team's done for. Well, whilst we didn't get the best game, we got something. And we got to kill a plane and a Val. Sorry for not getting the Val out much, um, British Empire, but unfortunately, mate, I can't do nothing with a team like that. What we got? Three Dazma, maybe? Or five backup vehicles, one of which is a boat that I never use, so okay. That's something, I guess, but even so, sorry I couldn't get the D3A out or the D3A out earlier. Like I say, team just collapsed. And I was pinned down for most of the game in the Horo anyway, but we got three kills in the Horo. We did well. We got a kill in the Val. We did alright. Pulled our weight team didn't that's just standard but um hope you enjoyed today's video on the d3a1 and horo combo like i say always love a combo request if you've got any do send them in if you've got any specific requests please do send them in always like getting them and i will see you all on the next one